Hello, today we are going to study about mass spectrometry, which is commonly abbreviated as MS. Mass spectrometry is an analytical, analytical tool which measures the type and amount of chemicals present in a sample by measuring the mass to charge ratio. We are going to start with a brief history of mass spectrometry. In between the 18th and the 19th century, a chemist known as Dalton came up with the Dalton's theory, which stated that all matter was composed of atoms as the smallest particles, which are indivisible and indestructible building blocks. While all atoms of an element were identical, different elements had atoms of different sizes and masses. However, in the late 19th century, a chemist known as J.J. Thomson was the first to propose that negatively charged particles, several times smaller than an atom, were the smallest building blocks of matter. These are what we know today as electrons, and he first measured and confirmed their existence with a cathode ray. This gave birth to mass spectrometry, and soon resulted in the development of the first mass spectrometer. Mass spectrometer, mass spectrometry works because the mass of each ion is different, which allows compounds to be determined based on the masses of the ions that are that the unknown compound breaks into. Then we're going to go to the basic concept of mass spectrometry find that a mass spectrometer produces charged particles that is ions from the chemical substances that are to be analyzed the mass spectrometer then uses electric and magnetic fields to measure mass of the charged particles a continuation of the basic concept of the functioning of of all of how a ma mass spectrometry works find that there is introduction of samples into an ionization chamber these samples may be in gaseous liquid or solid states those that are in liquid or solid state the volatilization must be accomplished either prior to or accompanying ionization then you have that we find that ionization occurs in the separation in the gas phase according to their mass to charge ratio there is ion detection followed by the measurement of the abundance of the ions then there is the generation of a mass spectrum you might be wondering what a mass spectrum is a mass spectrum is a graph that is obtained by performing mass spectrometry which is a relation between the mass to charge ratio and ion signal. Components of a mass spectrometer. We have three main components of a mass spectrometer. That is the ion source, mass analyzer, and detector. In this, we are going to check. In our diagram, we have the inlet that is where the sample the sample introduction we have the source in this we have the gas phase ions we have the mass analyzer this is where ion sorting takes place we have ion detector this is where ion detection occurs and our our ion source mass analyzer and ion detectors are within vacuum pumps then you have our data system and finally, the mass spectrum, which is the data output of the entire analyze, analysis. Then you go to our instrumentation. You can see the sample. Then you have the neutral molecules. We have positively charged repeller plates. We have electron beam. The filament. Negatively charged accelerating and focusing plates. We have the neutral molecules, neutral fragments, and negative ions to vacuum pump. 
we have our magnets we have the analyzer tube we have positive positively charged ions which are deflected according to according to mass to charge ratio we have the ions exiting all the ion exit slits we have the collector and finally our recorder the main features okay before that we find that in the ionization chamber the sample that is the atoms or molecules are bonded with a stream of electrons to knock out one or more electrons out of them and generate positive ions and also undergo an acceleration process towards the magnetic chamber further fragmentation of the molecule may occur in the magnetic chamber they are deflected according to their mass and charge the lighter ones are deflected farthest and few may reach the detector as those of interest reach the detector detection occurs electronically this is followed by a, a mass spectrum being generated we have some features of mass spectrometry in this we find that both qualitative and quantitative analysis occur small sample size that is can work with small sample size then it facilitates the identification and characterization of materials using their masses then mass spectrometry has a wide has wide applications in divergent fields that is can be used in fields like chemistry molecular biology geology forensics and many more advantages of mass spectrometry this is highly sensitive it's also rapid which is time saving it works with small sample quantities this is especially advantageous where the same the amount of sample present is limited mass spectrometry can be combined with other techniques such as gas chromatography from gas chromatography mass spectrometry disadvantages of mass spectrometry we find that it is quite expensive that is in terms of labor technology and also the materials used mass spectrometry is unable to differentiate among isomers of the molecule with the same charge to mass ratio we also find that chiral columns may be required to separate an anion mass that's what we have to say about mass spectrometry stay tuned for more thank you